Crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I'm here to share a card made only with die cuts and this is from the Spellbinder Sparkling Christmas Collection. Full disclosure, they asked me if I would like to work with some of the dies from the collection and share them on social media. I saw the dies and liked them so I agreed. I, you know, I felt like something I would want to use. Particularly, the, I fell in love with two of the dies, and that's the Jolly Ho Ho Ho, which I'm using here. And the reason I like it is because you can get several looks without having to have a bunch of dies, because the O can be changed by adding these little middle pieces to like an ornament, or a snowflake, or just a plain O, or a Christmas tree. So that versatility really appealed to me. I like when you get the good value of a lot of looks for one die set. And then the other one that I fell in love with was the Kaleidoscope Christmas Tree, which I will also be using in this card. And it was just, it's just gorgeous. Like there's so much beautiful loopy detail and I'd never seen a die like that. So it just appealed to me and I wanted to, to share them with you. There'll be links in the video description to the dies that I used and the Sparkling Christmas Collection. For today's card I wanted to just really showcase the dies because I enjoyed them and therefore I decided to go with the slimline design because I could fit the ho 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 and the Christmas tree all on one card. I started by cutting out the ho 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 with different shapes inside the O's and three different colors a green a red and then a gold sparkle paper. This one is from Die Cuts with a View, I believe. They make a really like thin glitter paper that doesn't shed. So I like that quite a bit. I was able to cut out several of each design so that I could get a really thick look. But then for the Kaleidoscope Christmas tree, it is a layered die. So there already are three layers. That worked out perfect with the Ho 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 because I could use those same three colors to cut out the three layers of the Christmas tree. So you see I cut one out of the red, one out of the green, and one out of the gold. I left the gold on top because I think that that just adds like a beautiful shine and really emphasizes the design. For layering up all of my die cuts, I'm going to glue them on in a very simple design. I think that when you're doing something as simple as this, because for instance, I don't even have like a stitching die for my slimline. It's just a, it's a plain cut piece of craft paper that I'm then going to glue on a white card base. There's nothing going on. It's really just the die cuts. They have to be the star of the show. And so adding those couple of layers of each die cut, while it does take up some time and trying to glue so like something like this intricate Christmas tree can be time consuming. I think it's totally worth it. And it's one of those things where like you can die cut in mass while doing something else. You know, you could be watching TV and having your machine going or gluing all your little pieces together. And while they are intricate, they're not little pieces that you're going to keep losing. They're not too finicky like that. I also think it would be nice if you wanted to add a little bit more sparkle by adding some gems, but I was afraid they might fall off the glitter paper. So I decided not to go with that. Here I am using Avery L liquid glue, but since then I have actually started using the Barely Arts liquid glue and I'm really happy with that one. The Avery L one works great, but it's really thick when it comes out in terms of uh, it doesn't have a fine point, whereas the Barely Arts offers that fine point and I really do like that for something like this, less uh, leaking of the glue out the edges. And so that's it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will leave you the links as mentioned and have an awesome day. Bye!